Come yeah. On, Thank you guys for being here, by the way. What an awesome night. Uh, me next? Do you want me to go next? I don't care. Who goes next? Go ahead, Carl. Okay, you want All right. Close. All right. We'll do a little tuning here. Just hang on. Can you talk in tune or do you want me to talk? I just had a Red Bull. I'm ready. If you don't talk, I can hear better. I see. I can't uh, play anything without actually talking a bit. Because of why we're here. Uh, I'm from a little town called Louisville, Mississippi. And uh, when I was growing up, I had several heroes, you know what I mean? Mickey Mantle was really big for me. And Glenn Campbell. You know, and uh, that's true. That's the absolute truth. And uh, when I was in high school, uh, the, the Glenn Campbell Good Time Hour was, was huge. I mean, it was just uh, the biggest show on TV, especially as far as I was concerned. And uh, so I'd make it a point every Sunday evening to make sure I was there when John Hartford at first stood up in the audience and started playing cello on my mind. Later on, Larry McNeely. And uh, I was a banjo player, still play banjo. And uh, when I graduated, a lot of my classmates, they signed in my yearbook, uh, see you on Glenn Campbell one day. Serious, I could show it to you, three or four different ones. Next thing I know, I'm up in Columbus, Ohio, uh, and put a little band together with, uh, with Keith Whitley, a guy named Bill Rollins, and a guy named Jimmy Goodrow. And uh, Keith and I are looking at the paper, and we see that Glenn Campbell is going to be at the Ohio State Fair. This is kind of a long story now, but that young I'm telling it anyway. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, Keith, and Keith was a huge fan of Glenn also, and so we decided we were going to go out to the, to the fair to see Glenn Campbell. And we did, and we were completely blown away, as we knew we would be. Then we went out to the Midway for a little while, goofed around, and then on, our, on the way back to our car, we had to pass right by the dressing rooms, which were trailers, by the way. At the, at the Ohio State Fair. And as we were going by, I looked over to the left and I saw Larry McNeely standing there talking to some people, signing some autographs, talking to some folks. And so Keith and I walked over. I wanted to say hello to him. I never met Larry, but I was a very big fan of his, of his playing. And so I did. And I walked up and I stuck out my hand. I said, uh, Larry, my name's Carl Jackson. I just wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed the show. And he said, Carl Jackson. He said, man, I love your playing. What are you doing up here? And I didn't even know he knew who I was. And uh, I said, well, I'm up here. Keith and I formed a little bluegrass group. Uh, I, had, I had worked with Jim and Jesse, by the way, which is bluegrass icons that had been on the Opry. And Larry had worked with Roy Acuff before he worked with Glenn. So that's, that's how he knew, but I, I'd never officially met him. And uh, he said, what are you doing tomorrow? And I said, well, uh, nothing. Really, we're just kind of hanging out. Uh, we got a show coming up tomorrow night or something. He said, well, why don't you come by tomorrow and let's do some playing? Mm -hmm. and I said, well, okay, I'll do that. So I go by the next day, and there's uh, Larry. He, he gets out his banjo, and he asks me to get mine out, and he, and he, pl he plays a couple things. We play a couple things together, but then mostly he starts going, can, can you play this? And he'd ask me for a tune, and I'd play it for him. Uh, and then he asked me, do you play guitar? And I said, well, yeah, I'll play a little bit. And then he looked over at me and he said, would you like to have this job? And I said, uh, yeah. <laughs> and he said, he said, well, you know, I've been trying to find somebody that could replace me. And he said, you, you can do it. He said, give me just a minute. And so... I didn't know what he was doing, but he got up and he left. And he, he came back about three or four minutes later and he said, come with me. And he takes me over to the next trailer over. And uh, I walk in and there sits Glenn Campbell, my hero. And uh, he's there and uh, he kind of puts me through the same, 
sorry, I'm, I'm about to cry, but it's not, it's a lot of cigarette smoke too, so uh, I can't, if, if I choke up during singing, just, I, I can't do it, I can't help it, I'm so allergic to it, and people are smoking outside, and you can't fool me, sorry. But uh, <coughs> anyway, uh, he, Glenn starts asking me, he said, well, can you play this? I said, yeah. And he was asking me for a standard, you know, like Foggy Mountain Breakdown, and Rocky Top, and things like that, you know. Yeah, I played them for him. And then I remember he asked, can you play Little Rock Getaway? And I said, yeah. So I played a little Little Rock Getaway on the banjo for him. And he said, <laughs> then he said, do you play guitar? I said, well, yeah, I'll, I'll play a little bit. At the time, I knew just about everything he'd ever done uh, because I just loved him, you know. Now, I, I don't remember it now, but I didn't know it then. But anyway, I played a little guitar for him, and then he asked me if I could play the claw. And I said, uh, yeah. And I played the claw for him, and he looked over at me, and he said, how much would you like to make? 18-year-old <laughs> me said, uh, a million bucks. <laughs> and he said, well, you're hired. He said, you go home, get your stuff together, and I'll have Stan Snyder call you. And uh, so I did. I had to go back and tell Keith and the other guys that I was quitting the band after a week. <laughs> and uh, I went home to Mississippi. Stan Snyder called. And in 1972, I went to work with Glenn right before I turned 19 years old and spent 12 of the best years of my life was, as far as I'm concerned, the greatest singer that's ever walked to this planet. Wow. Mr. Bateman. And now if you weren't, uh, if that wasn't long enough, then I'm gonna tell you just a little bit about this song. I went to, uh, I went out 